Perfect. Okay, um, so just first question for you today. Can you just spell for me your first and last name? Sure. It's Grant, G-R-A-N-T. Last name is Lewenberger, L-E-U-E-N-B-E-R-G-E-R. Okay, and then what is your proper title that you would like for us to use for you today? Um, they haven't given me a proper title exactly other than just driver. Um, I, I would guess um, mobile market transportation associate. Okay, that works. Which, you know, that that seems to fit the kind of the aspect of what we do. So okay, perfect. So we'll go ahead and use that. Um, so the Pretty much the first question I have for you today is, can you just tell me a little bit more about um, the Zero Hunger Mobile Food Market? I'm not too familiar with it myself. Um, so, you know, if you could just expand on that and kind of just explain how it works for those who don't know. Sure. So basically, it is a mobile grocery store. Um, it, instead of you going to the store, we bring the store to you. Um, it is a 40-foot trailer, and we have... An assortment of products, it's anywhere from fresh meats, you know, ground beef, chicken, pork, um, a different variety of those, produce, uh, fresh bananas, potatoes, all those, you know, good fresh products. We have shelf-stable products, juices, um, canned goods, um, like rice, uh, bagged rice, uh, cereals. We also have um, milk, uh, like dairy. We have eggs, cheese, butter. Uh, basically all the staples you would need um, to get through, you know, a week, two weeks, instead of you having to go out to a store. Like a lot of the places that we do are senior communities. So they have a really hard time getting to the store, whether it be they're wheelchair bound, they don't have anybody to take them, um, or they have to catch a bus and then carry all their groceries back on the bus to their place of residence. This is an opportunity for us to bring the store to them and they should come and shop. We have um, an entrance and an exit. We have a cashier stand. Um, they come in. We allow three shoppers at a time. They they pick their groceries, and then we bag it up. They pay with either credit, debit, or food stamps, SNAP, uh, SNAP benefits. We do not take any cash. Um, that's just for a safety for all for the driver and the the, uh, the associates that work on the truck with us. Um, it just makes it safer for us, but that's that's about the the idea of what we do. It's bringing the grocery store to you. Okay, got it. And how long um, does it operate for? So, like, what are the hours? Is it every day? Um, do you guys do weekends too? So we don't do any weekends. Um, it's strictly Monday through Friday. Our first stop is at ten a.m. and our last stop wraps up around four p.m. So we do typically two to three stops a day, no more than three. Um, and that allows us to spend longer at the stops. So typical, and a, a typical stop is an hour and a half. So we are actually currently on site right now at one of our stops and it'll open up at, at 1230 and it'll run until two. So that gives everybody an hour and a half to shop and we stay fairly busy the entire hour and a half. So uh, it's, we get a lot of customers. And what kind of, you know, prompted this idea? Um, was it just the need, you know, for people to have an easy way to get their groceries? So what sparked the need was, so I work for uh, Dare to Care Food Bank of Louisville, Kentucky, and they partnered with Kroger, uh, which is our big retail store here, other than Walmart and Meyer and all those. Um, so Dare to Care is a nonprofit food bank. So we already serve the community um, by you know, handing out uh, senior commodities. We hand out fresh produce, uh, shelf-stable foods, emergency foods, all those things. So Dare to Care and Kroger partnered together to bring food to what's called food deserts. Uh, <laughs> there's um majority of our downtown area, there are not very many convenience stores. It's You're going to find a corner store where the prices are three times what you would spend at your normal grocery store. Um, a lot of the big chain stores are, are have just, uh, either been run out of downtown or they're, they don't exist. So what Dare to Care and Kroger wanted to do was bring food to those areas that they do not have access to off, you know, right off hand. So 
And this is used obviously in Kentucky, but I know our city in Temple, Texas, they're considering using it too. So kind of how frequently is this used? Um, is it used in any other states? I don't know if you would be able to touch on that at all, but um, is this a pretty big need and kind of how successful are they too? So I've actually done a little bit of research on other mobile markets that are around the um, around the the U.S. and so we are. This is the only one that we have in Kentucky currently. Um, there are several that I know of that do s almost similar to what we do. Um, the same type of trailer and truck and all that stuff. Um, Tulsa, Oklahoma does one. Um, Minneapolis, Minnesota does one, but they use um, an out of service transit vehicle um, instead of a truck and trailer. So they've retrofitted their old transit bus to be a mobile market. Uh, Milwaukee does one. Uh, the Piggly Wiggly runs one, uh, that one up there. Memphis, Tennessee does one. So there's they're few and far between, but they're starting to pop up more. So as as the need for hunger grows, more of these will will start to pop up. And we've been running this one now for four years. For four years? Yeah. Okay. And what got you interested in doing this? Is this something that you've always kind of wanted to do? So I've worked for Dare to Care for seven years. And so I've seen the impact of hunger throughout the state and the city that I live in. And so it really opened my eyes to that when I started working with Dare to Care. And so when this project was brought on, um, in, when I, I was around during the, the infancy of the project, and I didn't join until about a year ago, but I, like I said, I've been with Dare to Care for that seven year period. So I've seen how this has, has progressed and it's only gotten better. But um, when they ask um, if anybody was interested in doing it, I, I jumped on it. You know, it's because with Dare to Care, we don't necessarily see the people that that use the the product that we give. Because my main job was to deliver to agencies with Dare to Care. Then the people would come to the agency. Here, we're seeing customers, you know, instantly. We see the people that it affects immediately. And so this has been even more of an eye-opening experience for me because you actually see and, you know, the people when when they tell you the stories about, you know, well, we missed you last week because if we're down for any kind of maintenance, you really see how it affects the people that we that we help. So it's it's been such an honor to to work for this organization. Yeah, and I think, you know, once our city starts to implement this idea, I really think, like you said, it's just going to keep growing um, yep. It seems like such a need that, you know, really does help people. Um, those are all the questions I have. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Any final thoughts that you would like to say? Maybe that you didn't get to add in any of the questions I asked? Uh, no, I, I believe that. Uh, everything, you know, that kind of sums up what we do. It's just, you know, it's in the areas that that don't have access to food. These things are are such a needed you know, um, service. And if I would love to see, you know, this is the only one in Kentucky. I would love to see a fleet of these things, you know, um, and go across the U S you know, and cause I mean, that's one thing that, 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 you know, we want to tackle is the hunger throughout the U S there's area and people don't, I don't think people realize how much of an issue that is until you work for an organization like a, a food bank where you get to see firsthand just how, much that affects you know people you, you your neighbor could be somebody who's you know food uh, insecure they don't have you know the need the necessities to get through the week and we can bring that to them and it's it's just it's it like i said it's such a rewarding experience working for dare to care and I wish I could have started with them sooner, <laughs> you know. Well, I bet it's amazing, you know, seeing the impact. Like you said, you can actually see them come in. I bet they're so thankful. And then, you know, if you miss a day or things kind of get off track to see how, you know, it affects them, that's, it shows like how much of a need there really is. So absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But thank you so much for meeting with me. I really appreciate it. I'll make sure to email you the story after so you can, you know, read it, watch it and everything like that. But that's everything for today. Awesome. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Bye.